come here to talk FCB and Barca have indeed got the job done against LJ. It was Frankie de Jong at the heart of everything once again and there was a real late flurry from Barca where the young players came on and we came to life. That's what we're going to be discussing in today's review as we have got here another important win. It's all coming up guys. I hope you enjoyed that. So let's get to it. Because in terms of the team selection from Ronald Koeman, it was pretty similar to what we did expect. It was Alba there back at left back. It was Umtiti alongside Araujo, but Mingueza there at right back. I think Serginho Des didn't really want to be risked in this kind of game, only just returned from injury. In midfield, Busquets to Young and Pedri. That was a really good tree. I really like that midfield, the way that it's set up there, the different players that you've got. With Martin Braithwaite, Antoine Griezmann and Ousmane Dembele making up the front line. And I think to be honest guys what we did experience right throughout this game but particularly in the first half was what I thought was a bit of control from Barca. It was quite patient in our build up. We dominated the ball really from start to finish. Elche weren't really interested in having that possession. And I think Barca to be honest they took things slow and steady in that first half we were just building our attacks waiting for our moment to strike. Elche were keeping themselves very very organised at the back. But I think overall certainly you look at Dembele you look at Pedri in that first half they were our danger men. I think Dembele was so direct every time he got the ball he did try to make something happen and I also want to say today I thought Martin Braithwaite was much much better than he showed in the Copa Ray in midweek he was better on the ball he was a big big part there with the first goal and he was also much more hard working today so that was certainly a good thing for us but what I would also say is today I think we did come up against what is no disrespect but a poor team in Elche Elche for me didn't really offer anything going forward they didn't really have any pace in behind that could trouble us and for that reason we were able to play a nice high line. That was what we enjoyed doing today. Certainly that worked well for us. And Barca, eventually in that first half, got the first goal. And it all came down that left-hand side. Like I say, Martin Braithwaite didn't really only operate down the centre today, but he also found himself out in the wider areas. He plays a good ball there into the box, into a really good area. Antoine Griezmann is taking up a good position, but before he can actually get onto the ball, the ball there is diverted by the LJ player towards his own goal. And just to make absolutely sure who's on the scene, but the man himself, De Jong this season, who's getting himself a serious amount of goals. He really is in amongst the goals this season. He smashes the ball home just before it's over the line. Barca had the lead. And like I say, from that moment on, we were in control. There was no real looking back. Although in the second half, we did have a bit of a dip. Because this was, I think, certainly one of the effects of playing all of those games, taking them to extra time, going to penalty kicks, those three matches in a row that we've really had to work hard physically. And we spoke about that before the game. Certainly these players, they are physically suffering right now. And I think we saw that in the second half. It was a slow start to the half. I think we lost a bit of control. We certainly lost the intensity. I would almost describe, really, a lot of that second half as quite boring. We didn't really do an awful lot. We didn't really penetrate LJ. And I think what came from that was a big, big mistake at the heart of our defence and that's what happens really when you lose that in concentration when you lose that intensity you are going to make a mistake and when you do it can very easily cost you and I think it's all the defenders really at blame here I think Umtiti plays quite an aimless ball across the back line there was no real focus in that ball there across our defence then there was sort of miscommunication between Araujo and between Mingueza it's Mingueza in the end who eventually makes the mistake gives the ball away in such a dangerous area and it basically results there in Elche one on one with Marco Andre Ter Stegen. He had to come up there, 55 minutes gone on the clock in the second half with a big, big save. And he does make a fantastic one on one stop, sticks out his right leg, and it's a brilliant save from Ter Stegen. So, once again, we have to highlight his quality. And I think at that point in the game, with that intensity really drained out of our players, and certainly they were tiring, you were all looking to the bench. We were all saying, Ronald Koeman, please make a sub. There was no reason there to leave it as long as he did. There were some good players on the bench. We spoke before the game about Cronrad course you were looking there somebody like Rookie Pooch would have given us that energy even somebody Trin Kao who then came on and I think the change definitely should have been made before 75 minutes that was too late for me there and against a better team you do run the risk there of being caught when you drop your level that much but like I say today with LJ that wasn't really a problem but I do want to talk about Trin Kao who did come on for the final 15 minutes now Trin Kao is somebody who has been criticised a lot for his Barca career so far he's yet to get off the mark of course he didn't play particularly well in midweek either in the Copper. But I want to say today, 
much better. And it made me so, so happy there to see Trinko come on and he looked more confident. He almost looked as though, you know what, I'm just going to go for this. He is a good player. He does have talent. He just needs to show that. He just needs to be confident in his ability in a Barca shirt. He was picking the ball up. He was looking to receive the ball. He was keeping his width. He came inside on his left foot. Brilliant shot across goal. Just tipped around the post by the goalkeeper. So, so close to scoring. And just a few minutes later, it was exactly the same again. Ball in from Antoine Griezmann. Trinkout was arriving. I thought, this is it. This is his moment. He heads it towards goal. But it's a really good save from the goalkeeper. But he's on the right road. We have to see more of that from Trinkau. More of that belief. Because the cameo he had today, it was much much better. But of course, the best was saved really until the very end of the game because Ricky Pooch was finally given some minutes by Ronald Koeman. Of course, somebody there who was taken off at halftime in the Copa del Rey game in midweek. Pooch eventually got on for the final five minutes and you were thinking there, there's no time for him to do anything. Koeman is putting him on here simply for the sake of it. He's not got any minutes at all. But you know what? Pooch still took his opportunity, and it was brilliant play again from Frankie de Jong. There is nothing this guy cannot do. He's driving into the area. It's a brilliant dribble, and I love the way that de Jong here delays the ball, because there's a number of players that he can pick out in the box, but he just waits and waits and waits. He's got his head up. He's looking for the right option, and in the end, he picks a perfect cross in. Pooch rises highest, heads it into the back of the net, and I'm so, so happy for him. I really, really am, because nobody, nobody can take that goal away from him. Pooch there, arriving on the scene, showing Koeman what he can do, and making an impact as we know that he can. And I think overall, guys, what you're looking at here is an important three points of Barcelona coming off the bat there of the Super Cup, which ended badly for us. Not really convincing in midweek either against Corne. I think what we need to do here was get back to winning ways, win the game, get the three points on the board, and then move on to what is another big week for us next week. But what I'd also like to say is the pressure was on us because this weekend so far, we've already seen Real Madrid yesterday win very, very comfortably against Alaves. Sevilla also won two, and Atletico Madrid are going to be playing on Sunday evening later on today at home against Valencia. So quite clearly there, when you're looking at the league table, we needed that win. We couldn't afford to slip up. We didn't. It's another away game here that we've gotten over the line. It wasn't the best win ever, but it's three vital points. And like I say, that final 15 minutes there, Trincao coming on, showing some quality, showing some talent that he does have, and Ricky Pooch getting a goal, even though he was given just a few minutes of action. I love that. And hopefully Kuman was taking some notes. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. What did you make of the game today? Who stood out for you? Who performed well? Who didn't? And of course, looking ahead to next week when we're going to be taking on Rio Vallecano in the Copa del Rey and also Athletic Club 2. Messi's back next week, but without him today, we did all right. I will see you soon, guys, with plenty more uploads to come. And I thank you, as always, for tuning in here to the review. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And you can do so knowing that we've got the three points. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Barca.